Uh, with summer transfer signings are finally bedding into the squad, we have started pretty well. Today we've got Verona at home and Lazio away. Let's fly through the fixtures that you've missed since the last time we met, the first of which was a 1-0 away defeat against Roma. Thomas Belmont got sent off in this one after Pellegrini had put them in front. We could have done better and could have got more out of this game, but I think going down to 10 men for the final 20 minutes killed it off. But it, it's not a too bad of a result. The following game after that was absolutely beautiful. Genoa 4, AC Milan 2, and a deserved victory as well. We didn't pinch this. Alcaraz had put us in front three minutes in. Avia put them 2-1 up uh, after 20 minutes, but Adam Hlozek and Moise Keane, it got... <laughs> Cut the goals themselves. I'm sorry, the dog's barking and he's doing me head in. But yeah, Hlozek with a brace. Moyes came with one. Nice to see with strikers getting on the score sheet. And a 4-2 win against AC Milan. Perfect. Next up was in a weird defeat against Torino. But looking at the match stats, I think I'm more than happy with this. The boys performed well. We were just a little bit unfortunate in front of goal and in the defence. Moyes came, put us in front two minutes in. He got another in the 75th minute, but they scored three in between and stole three points. We bounced back though, Sassuolo had a fantastic season last season, so to get a 2-0 home win against them is nothing to sneeze at, Moise Keane and Hlozek on the score sheet. Next up was a 2-1 away win against Brescia, Hlozek and Giglione with the goals in this one. Uh, again, a match which we dominated and we fully deserved the three points. A 1-0 victory followed against Atalanta, Hlozek with the goal in this one. It was a tight game this one, Atalanta are a very good side, but another three points on the board. And this has been the only match which I've been thoroughly Thoroughly disappointed in. Udinese were bottom of the league <laughs> when we played them. And we got beat 3-0. Uh, Munoz did get sent off 44 minutes in. But we were already 1-0 down at that point. Um, and they dominated the game. We didn't even play well. So a thoroughly deserved defeat. And that sees the Serie A table looking like this. We currently sit in 6th position. 5 wins out of 8 games. 3 defeats. A plus 3 uh, goal difference. I don't think we can be too disappointed with that. I think we can be relatively content. Our strikers are scoring which is nice. There is a couple of positions where I can't get the best out of our players. Thomas Belmont being one of them. We've actually moved him back to the defensive midfielder. He's been that bad in central midfield as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, as you can see, a 6.7 average rating, especially in a winning side. You expect better than that from your midfielder. And we've had issues with him since we signed him. Thiago Almada, we're not getting the best out of him in the attacking midfield. One goal and one assist, a 6.82 average rating for an attacking player in a winning side isn't exactly perfect either. So we've got a couple of areas within the squad where we're not really getting the best out of players. Um, but hopefully that will come with time. Where we are getting the best out of players is up front. Adam Hlozek's got six goals in eight games. Moise Keane's got five goals in nine games as the more supportive striker. Uh, we sent halves are playing absolutely brilliantly, really solid in the defence. And yeah, we just need to continue on. Hopefully pick up some form and today's episode of Verona at home. They sit bottom. We did just get beat off Udinese who were bottom. So uh, I'm not going to count that as a win yet. And Lazio away from home who are fourth who. You would expect us to get beat but hopefully we'll give them a good game. So this is going to be the lineup for today's game. Marco Sport yellow in goal. Giglione comes in at right back. Sardella, he's not playing too well so I'm going to drop him for a couple of games. Amedzevic and Carmo in the defence with Sisbora as the left back. Belmont has dropped in the defensive midfield role and Melagioni has replaced him in the centre of midfield. We're playing a very attack and centre midfield now, whereas before it was a bit more balanced. Um, but we have compensated with that with Almada going on to support duty, the fullbacks going on to support duty, so, and the defensive midfielder is still on defensive. Carlos Alcaraz has been fantastic in central midfield. I'm more than happy with him there. Thiago Almada playing in behind, Hlozak and Moise Keane. Dog! Ah, the postman must be running in and out of our garden. Let's submit this team and get to the match, please. So I don't know too much about Verona. Let's see how they're going to line up against us. They're going to be playing five at the back, essentially. Uh, one striker up top. It's it's a defensive yet attacking formation. We'll see how we get on. Um, hopefully we can get in a comfortable win. That's what I want. A quiet first 15 minutes and we get our first highlight. The match stats is just stuck. On this screen. Moise Keane gets in behind. Oh, he should be beating the keeper from there. It was an absolutely sloppy pass from the Verona defence. And we should have made the most of it. We do get a corner. We'll stick with it. Uh, Alcaraz is the man who is on it. David Carmo's at... Oh, it's Lozek on the front post. Not who it's meant to be. Oh, this is so annoying. What? How do I get rid of this? The ball is kicked up. Moise Keane has been sent in behind again. And Moise Keane doesn't make the same mistake twice. That's his sixth goal. I'm loving our strikers, by the way. Moise Keane contract. 
runs out at the end of this season, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to have to double check that after this game, but I'm pretty sure it does. I will break the bank to bring him in. He's Italian, he's young, he's got potential, and he's exactly, exactly what we want and need. Right, this is broken. I don't know how to get rid of it. We're just going to ignore it from now on. We're coming down the right-hand side, 30 minutes in. Verona haven't really been a part of this game so far. If we can get a second goal... Oh, it's offside. It's offside. The referee's flagging. Are we going to have a VAR check? Probably. I think it is offside, though. Goal has been disallowed. Here we are. Alcaraz with a free kick. 40 minutes in. He goes for goal and he hits the bar. Uh, did wasn't really troubling the goalkeeper, that one. Decent. Decent. 1-0 up against Verona. Uh, they did sort of come back into that in the second half of the first half, but... I'm not too concerned. We didn't really see a highlight from him. We will go to positive from attacking just to take our foot off the gas a little bit and retain possession a little bit more. Although we're already keeping 60% of it to begin with. We get another highlight though. First uh, first highlight of the second half. We give the ball away. We win it back. Mela Jordi plays the ball through for Hlozek. An absolute massive gap in the Verona defence. And Hlozek gets his seventh goal of the season and puts us 2-0 up. I love our strikers. As we can see here, it was a sloppy ball by Zakagni. For Verona, and Melodjoni picks it up in the midfield, and the seas parted, and Hlozek buries it. We've had a few games coming at us thick and fast, so we will look to make some changes. Alcaraz can come off. He's played every minute of every game so far. We'll bring on Francesco Casata in the centre of midfield for him. Uh, Melodjoni's probably another candidate, but we'll, we'll let the game play out a little bit more and see how we uh, fare maybe 70 minutes in or so. The highlight continues, though, with Moyes Keane bringing the ball down beautifully. And getting past his man down that left-hand side, he goes for goal. A little bit ambitious, but I don't mind it at all. Another highlight, a throw-in for us with only 20 minutes to go down this left-hand side. Belmont on a yellow card. We need to be careful with him. He's uh, definitely got discipline issues. Sisbora whips the ball in on that left-hand side. Melodjordi brings it down nicely. He plays it in the box. Casata's there. The substitute can't get his goal. We will look to take uh, Melodjordi off. We'll bring on Stefano Sturaro in the centre of the park. Or oh, actually... We'll bring on, uh, we'll bring on Milan Bedell, and then we'll put uh, what's his face, Thomas Belmont, in the centre of midfield, and bring Gary, uh, Gary Medell. Oh my God, we've missed a goal. Who the hell's Gary Medell? It's Milan Bedell, and Verona have scored a goal. I don't know what's happened. Zakagni plays it down to Lazovic on this left-hand side. The defence was all to see, and it's a comfortable finish. No, <laughs> no, we worry. Oh no, don't do this to me. I was, I was resting, boys. I was that comfortable. Says Bora, punts it clear. Amione wins the ball back for Verona. And Faraoni plays it down the right-hand side. Can we win that gig? Leone gets his head up, but we're not the second men of the ball. That is disappointing. Zakagni feeds it through to Kalinic. Oh, my dears. We're going to balanced. <laughs> Almada with a free kick. 12 minutes to go. I mean, why is it showing us that? That was terrible. Eight minutes on the clock. Verona and making this difficult for us, but we do have a highlight for our favour, hopefully. Bedell. He's got uh, the left-hand side. Sisbora is in acres of space, but it goes to Moise Keane instead. He's got a lot of work to do from this position. He goes for goal. Belmont, someone, no. This highlight's continuing. I've got a feeling Verona are going to get a good opportunity out of this. We are pushed up the field. Giglione does well. The right-back in for Sardella today. Two minutes remain. If we could just hold on, I think we're going to do it. Genoa 2, Verona 1. It wasn't convincing, but it was a win, especially after the 3-0 Udinese defeat. We needed that. We'll uh, get through the rest of this. I think there's 20 days international break between now and Lazio. We'll get through that fourth versus fifth. See how we get on against one of the big boys. I was talking rubbish. Moise Keane's contract doesn't run out until 2024. We've made it to the Lazio game. Only a couple of changes from the starting 11. Ehen Munoz returns to left back after his suspension. Milan Bedell comes in for Dem Thomas Belmont, who is suspended once again after getting five yellow cards. Uh, other than that, we're unchanged. Let's see how we get on against Lazio. We didn't have the most convincing performance against Verona. This is going to be a much more difficult test against Lazio. Away from home as well. I'm not expecting anything. Maybe just a good performance. That'll do. First highlight of the game comes four minutes in. We are on the attack down this right-hand side. Giglione picking up the ball from Adam Hlozek. Melodjoni's offering support in the centre. Is he going to whip this ball in? We've got our two strikers sitting there waiting on the edge of the 18-yard area. Lazio pushing us back. And I'm a little bit worried we might end up giving the ball away. Yep, we give the ball away <laughs> in the mobile air, picks it up and it's Lazio on the attack down this right-hand side with Lazari bursts into the box. We didn't get the challenge in. Immobile shoots Luis Alberto. I don't know how they didn't score. <laughs> Another highlight now. Joaquin Correa is in behind for Lazio. Good save by Marco Sportiello. Luis Alberto with the corner. He whips it in. Amedzevic manages to get a clear, but 
Lazio are dominating this game. We're going to come off attack and go to balance, regardless of what what the outcome is of this uh, highlight. Immobile, nice little pass back to Baragi. We've got him. We've got him marked quite well. Our defence isn't. Well, it wasn't a decent shape. Immobile is in behind. What a block that was. Who was that? Who was it? It was David Carmo. Absolutely game saving block that was. Corner for us. Alcaraz is the man to take it. Asabi gets there ahead of our attackers. Almada will pick it up. Uh, just don't give it away. Almada plays it through. Hlozek's in behind. Oh, he's offside. Uh, assistant referee just let one go. It's going to go to VAR once again, but I've never seen one of these overturned once the assistant has flagged. Check and goal through, through VAR. Goal's been disallowed. Looking at the match stats, Lazio should be absolutely battering us. 12 minutes in as well. An expected goal of 1.6, I think, is pretty much the highest I've seen inside the first 15 minutes. As Milinkovic Savage drives through the centre, finds Lazari on this right hand side. He whips it in. Immobile is there at the back post, and this time he makes no mistake. Chiro Immobile is fifth goal of the season. Lazio 1, Genoa 0. Finally got rid of the match stats. Apparently you just click this. I did not know that. <laughs> so uh, if you're ever confused, click that. You can get the match stops up during the highlights. Munoz coming down the left-hand side. Moyes Keane uh, plays it back out to Bedell. Can we get straight back into this? That would be perfect. Giglione coming down this right-hand side. Drives into the box. A bit of a lack of urgency, but he finds Alcaraz. Should be 1-0. Come on, boys. David Carmo with a free kick. Finding Ehen Munoz. Keane makes a nice little dart down that left-hand side. He's got plenty of time. Munoz whips it in. Alcaraz is there again. Can't get the first touch on her though. Almada Bedell. Oh, Giglione wins it. He goes for goal. Oh, he hits the post. Please. Ever since I've been 1-0 up, we've definitely come back into this game. But uh, as we say, that Baragi goes for goal. Easy save by Sport Yellow. I'll be surprised if that was the actual highlight. So there might be something more to this. But um, yeah, we've definitely come back. Hopefully we can get a goal before half time. Oh, don't. Don't do this to me. When I said a goal before half time, I did mean us Lazio. So if you could be so kind as to give us the ball back. Thanks, Immobile. Probably one final highlight before half time. It's Lazio on the attack once again. Lazari, the ball's given away. Come on, let's 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 do something with it. Come on. Big punt over the top. Adam Hlozek is in behind. Can he bury this one? He certainly can. He takes it round the goalkeeper. Adam Hlozek's eighth goal of the season. Lazio one, Genoa one. Probably undeserved, but I don't really care. Just a big punt up by Sporty Yellow. Adam Hlozek beats the offside trap. I'm assuming they're playing it. I don't know why they'll be playing it against Hlozek, who's got like 17 pace. But 1-1. Uh, we can't be disappointed with that. We'll G the boys up. Kick off for the second half. We've definitely played better since they went 1-0 up. Hopefully that continues rather than uh, goes back to normal now that we're 1-1. First highlight of the second half comes 50... Oh, Bedell. What the hell? He did a fancy little pass and finds Milinkovic Savic. Wacken Korea is in behind now. Tight angle. Sporty yellow saves. Big punt over the top once again. Adam Hlozek in behind. Strakosha with a decent save this time. The punt over the top for Hlozek might be the one. Corner for us 63 minutes in. It's played in. David Carmo was there at the front post. Come on, David. You haven't scored from a corner yet this season. You, it's been disappointing. I might have to change our corner tactic. Um, I don't think we've got the quality of player for uh, a corner tactic to be too effective at the front post. We might have to maybe play it short. Munoz out in this left-hand side. Plays it back to Milan Bedell. We've got plenty of men in the box. Almada on the edge. Goes for goal. It's blocked. Oh, Giglione. He doesn't even run for it. He just lets Immobile get her. Wacken careers in behind. That is dreadful. Let's take a look at this again. I want to see Giglione's run here. He just runs to get back into position, not towards the ball. Look, he's he's that's your ball. What are you doing? That is ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. No way a player would actually do that in real life. Adam Hlozek, probably our best player. He's going to have to come off. Uh, we'll bring on Eldor. Hasn't had too much football this season, despite being decent for us last season. So we'll get him on. We're getting Giglione off. We'll bring on Sardella at right back. Come on, boys. We've got a fight to get back into this once again. Malajoni finds Moyes Keane on this right-hand side. Oh, Lewis, again, get to the ball, man. Why are you standing back? So I've got pressing intensity to the extreme. Why are you not pressing? Moyes Keane's in behind, though. Can he bury this? He should be burying that. He should be. Stokoshal with a big, big save to stop us going 2-1. We'll stick with this corner just in faint hopes. Alcaraz, the man to take it. It's cleared. We're going to attack him now for the final 15. I mean, Lazio deserve the win. But it's been a relatively even game in terms of shots. 
they have they have created obviously better chances than we have, but there's been a couple of hours where we really, really should have scored and time is just ticking away. We have a highlight. Two minutes left. It's played in. Oh, Baragi, it's going to be a counter-attack. We've committed too many men forward. Milinkovic, Savic, it's two on three. He plays it through to Mobley, who beats the offside trap, and he buries it. Lazio three, Genoa one, and that is going to be all she wrote for this game. We can't be too disappointed. We gave Lazio a decent game, but they did run out 3-1 winners, and deservedly so. Unlucky boys, it wasn't a beat today, but we did get one win out of today's episode, which was the game um, against Verona. Uh, the, I preferred the performance against Lazio than against Verona, to be honest with you, but we take what we can, and we don't get too upset. So after them two games, we currently sit in seventh in the league. I would absolutely take that at the end of the season. Hlozek is now the top scorer in the league. Yeah, absolutely love to see it. If we could fight for the European spots, that would be brilliant. But I'm not anticipating that. We've got some tough games coming up. You've got UV and Napoli. Uh, got Roma and Milan. Is that who we're coming back for? I think it's going to be... No, it's not. It's going to be Juventus and Parma. <laughs> I don't know why I thought Roma and Milan were in December. That is January, clearly, Sam. But UV away from home, Cristiano Ronaldo might as well face them. Uh, and Palmer would hopefully be a little bit of an easier game. But anyway, lads, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.